This camper is sweet. Let's open up and tour the all new 2023 Grand Design Imagine XLS 22 MLE Travel Trailer. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris coming at you from the beautiful Great Escapes RV Super Center and it's my pleasure to be doing this tour with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the outside and explain some of the features. Then we're gonna go inside with the unit closed up and show you how practical it would be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, use the restroom, or maybe even cook a meal. How easily accessible is this RV with it closed up? Then we're gonna take, open it up together and give you a final overlook at this beautiful Imagine XLS by Grand Design. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's rock and roll. All right, one of the few campers I really love to brag about, True Four Seasons uh, RV, aluminum substructure, fiberglass sidewalls, heated and enclosed underbelly, uh, heated tank pads, beautiful RV. You've got a power tongue jack on here. This really comes in handy as well because it's got a built-in night light. So if you guys are docking up at night, it makes it that much easier. 20 pound propane tanks which we fill upon your purchase as well as provide you with a battery. You do have an additional slot if you wanted to add another. Of course, we have a gravel parking lot, so this unit is a little bit dusty, but not to worry. All new and used purchases include a professional detail, interior and exterior, as well as a training class and a free night stay on their private campground. As you can see way over there, there's somebody already setting up. Very cool. It's one of the really cool perks for shopping with these guys. Of course, uh, fiberglass sidewalls, you got a fiberglass uh, front cap. Uh, Diamond Guard rock plate on here to help as far as rock chips goes. It is RV Today eligible, so if you guys get here um, before noon, you guys can be able to fill out your paperwork. You'll be camping tonight in this beautiful RV. Very, very nice. You're gonna have manual jacks, but get you a three quarter inch socket, hook that up to there. That's gonna raise and lower much faster than if you had to do that manually. Opening up this compartment storage with the magnetic catch, which is pretty sweet. You're gonna see you have a good amount of pass-through storage in here. This comes in really, really handy. You can see the aluminum substructure. This is your manual override as well, as far as your jacks goes. Take this, close it up. You've got an 18 foot full span Solera awning with the built-in LED light strip, um, exterior mounted marine grade speakers, standard setup as far as your entry steps goes. You've got potable water section right here to be able to fill up and be able to carry water with you. This is the 22 MLE, once again by Grand Design with the Arctic Four Seasons protection. It's got industry's leading three-year limited structural warranty. This is nice. They used to have the uh, lion's head, but now they switched over to the Goodyear Endurance USA made tires, 15 inch aluminum rims, nitrogen filled tires, Dexter axles with the wet bolt fastener. Very nice setup on these tires and wheels. Very cool. You have an exterior mounted 110 power supply as well as cable TV or satellite output. It does show right there that it has the prep for the Lippert tire pressure monitoring system. Very cool. You have an outside spray port right here to be able to hook up an outside shower. This is a tank flush valve right there as well. Of course, heated and enclosed underbelly. Really, really nice. This has nice Dexter axles. Those things look really sweet. And you have a propane connection as well right here for an outside, outside griddle. You got a tubular style bumper. You guys can be able to put your sewer hose in there. Full size spare tire. <clears throat> 35,000 BTU furnace. You've got the Furion prep for the backup camera as well. Of course, you have uh, LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. This is a 30 amp service. Coming up here on this ladder to get onto your fully walkable roof. Try and do this without falling. All right, this is nice. Good little upgrade to have. You got the Furion 165 watt solar panel. And then the front of your AC unit, you've got a wine guard, omnidirectional air 360 antenna that makes it that much easier as far as finding your channels. You got a nice uh, AC system as well. This has also got several ventilation systems on here. You've got these nice um, ventilation systems for your black tank. And then you also have a skylight right here as well. Very cool. Let's go ahead and go down. Hopefully I don't fall. Coming around here, you got a six gallon water heater. This is the dumping center for your black and your gray tank. 
as you can see, this unit does have um, one slide on here. There's a ventilation system right here as well. So if you guys are burning the bacon, you guys can be able to have this cracked open, keep this properly ventilated. Make sure you guys keep that closed though. You don't want any bugs or any kind of water going up into there if you're ever washing the sides. Opposite end of those, those nice Goodyear tires. Let's check this out into here, opening this up. All right, here's your convenience center. As you can see, nice lights and stuff are all turned on. There's the section right there for your tire pressure monitoring sensor prep. I like this quite a bit. So you've got right here, it's a battery disconnect. You can have city water fill if you want to set it up to do fresh tank fill as well. You got your front cap light. You've got a section right here for hot and cold water. You can run your hose up to here and plug it in. If it's freezing temperatures outside, you guys can take and plug that in and then be able to take the um, the, the plug to that and plug it into this 110 port, keep that hose from freezing. Very cool. There's a spray port right there, and then there's a little uh, little charge maintainer as far as the Furion solar charge controller on top. Coming around here a little bit further, let's go ahead and go inside and check this RV out. So we love doing RV tours. We've got all sorts of some of the top selling brands across the United States. If there's a particular RV that you have an interest in seeing a tour on or want to see what it looks like all closed up, leave it in the comment section below. I'd be happy to add it to my list. Let's go inside. So first look, as you can see, looking to the right, you've got your queen size mattress on here. You got plenty of storage on your uh, overhead compartment storage and then your wardrobe storage on both sides. I like that they've got those uh, multicolored lights. The blue is the reading light. Um, it's not as bright at night if you're not wanting to disrupt the spouse while they're sleeping. And then you've got the white light as well. Just simply tap it once to turn it off, tap it again to turn it on blue, tap it again to turn it on white. You have 110 power on both sides as well as USB charging. Overhead cabinetry storage with hidden hinges. Very nice. You got a nice privacy curtain. So if you're sleeping friends and family, you guys want some privacy. And another cool thing that I like quite a bit is the slide is currently closed, but you have more than enough room to be able to move around if you needed to catch some Z's, cook a meal, or even use the restroom. You guys can still be able to utilize that on the side of the road. So that is a big thumbs up. Really nice. You got a booth dinette that will fold down into a bed to be able to sleep additional friends and family. You've got the theater style seating by Thomas Paine. It has a built-in convenience light, built-in heat, built-in massage with variable speed settings. What a cool setup. Let's go ahead and take and open up this slide out and be able to continue into this RV tour. So this slide out right here is a Schwinn Tech. And as you guys can see right here, here's the opposite end of your convenience center. Everything's all properly labeled and easily located. As far as being able to check your fluid levels, it's all a digital readout now. That's a new update, that's pretty sweet. Ceiling lights, exterior lights to power your water pump. If you guys are carrying water with you and you wanna pressurize that system, your water heater, whether you're running off of gas or electric, you could hit a both and you can have a quicker recovery. Um, you can hit this connect option with the Lippert One control and be able to uh, control a lot of these features from the convenience of your phone, which is pretty sweet. Um, awning extension and retraction and then slide one and in and out. So we'll go ahead and press out. This is the Schwintech slide system. Once it gets to its fullest extent, it's more or less going to make a uh, kind of the winding down of a motor and let you know that you need to stop. And then we'll know that that's opened up completely. All right, so that's done. And now looking at it, you've got so much room to be able to move around freely and be able to gain access to all the things that you need to much more efficiently. Getting into this a little bit further, continuing in on this side right here, of course, that's your control center. You also have the Furion AM FM, the Bluetooth USB multi-zone selection. You've got HDMI and USB charging port. Uh, this is a really nice little setup right there to be able to hook up your gaming systems. You have a TCL flat screen TV with the Roku settings. So your Amazon, Hulu, um, Netflix, all that stuff is available on here. Also, it's on a swivel mount. So depending on where you guys are watching from, you guys can utilize that. Of course, more overhead cabinetry storage. 
I do like that booth dinette. It's an updated booth dinette as well. Usually you had that little contraption you had to fold under. This is a lot easier now. It's basically operated on a hydraulic, like a strut assist. You just pull these right here, and then you push this down, and then same thing in reverse to be able to pull it back up. That comes in really handy, and it's less cumbersome than the foldable style ones, and then the ones that had the two posts, and then you had to take the table, and it was just a little bit of a headache. Of course, the nice theater style seating, which should be able to watch some movies right there. You got a Furion 12 volt, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. That's pretty sweet. Nice deep pocket in there. This thing's only been plugged in about 10, 15 minutes. It's already getting really cold. I feel very comfortable with putting perishable items on there. Nice setup with the kitchen as well. For something of this size, it still gives you an ample amount of kitchen space. I like that quite a bit. You got a solid surface look countertops. You got the Furion setup on here as well, as far as your stove top and your oven. Be able to put you some chocolate chip cookies in there. Hit that light on the bottom. There's a convenience light so you're not stubbing your toe at night. And then your oven light on the bottom. Take this three burner cooktop, tempered glass insert. Very nice. Can fold that up and out of the way. You got an overhead hood. So if you guys are burning the bacon in the morning, high point microwave, more storage, LED lighting. You got a nice one piece sink insert with the vegetable drying rack, chef style faucet. Sweet. More overhead cabinetry. You got another little ventilation system right here. So if you guys need to be able to keep it nice and cool in here on those cool days when you don't want to run the AC. Very cool. Solid steel ball bearing drawer glides. Nice build on that. And then you got a nice pocket door, so you don't have to worry about a door swinging open in order to gain access to your bathroom. That'll just simply slide in and out of the way. I like that quite a bit. And then you have a nice walk-in shower. That is pretty sweet. I love an RV that they automatically include a porcelain toilet. That is a Dometic. Very cool. You got a nice little vanity right there as well. Medicine cabinet. More storage for all your toiletry items and everything. Very cool. It does have a little uh, GFI right there as well. As a note, if you're ever having any issues as far as lighting or powering something, sometimes if that gets tripped, if somebody's using maybe a hairdryer or something, that's usually the culprit. You just got to reset that. Very cool. And a nice walk-in shower. I like this quite a bit. This is the slingshot. Be careful with this because sometimes it snaps open and it can be a little bit loud or startling. Uh, but then they also, they still give you this option if you don't like that version of the shower um, door, you guys can still put the D-rings on here and put yourself a shower curtain. Very cool. So coming out here a little bit further, as you can see, really nice and spacious in here. Plenty of room to move around. Still have access if you guys are parked on the side of the road to do anything you need it to do to not have to stop at any of those gas stations. Lift up this section right here. You've got additional storage up under here as well as the manuals and all of the information on the RV itself. Take this and close it. You've got privacy curtains as well. The nice blackout feature. I like that quite a bit. Slow rise. Of course, this RV is going to have standard carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, emergency exits, all that typical safety feature stuff. You got a nice little pocket nook down there if you guys want to slide your shoes after a long day of work. You guys can be able to do that. Guys, this is a sweet RV, especially as it advertises as a Four Seasons camper. This is going to be nice in those cold months and in those, uh, those hot months whenever you're needing that AC or a nice upgraded furnace. you got a 35,000 35, BTU furnace and then a nice 13.5 AC. Actually, I know I think it's a 15K if I'm not mistaken. I'll correct that immediately right now, as you can see. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and take this awning next and go ahead and extend it. Open up this door, press the awning extend button. This is the 18 uh, foot Solera awning, built in LED light strip. Once it gets to its furthest extent, you're going to see a little flap that folds down that lets you know that it's completely open. If you continue to hold that button, the awning is going to continue to roll, but it's basically going to roll up on itself backwards. You don't want to do that because you could potentially damage the gears. Uh, and then of course it would hold water. If it gets to that point and you don't see the flap come down, just take and fold it, or I'm not saying fold it, but roll it backwards and you'll see that flap come down. There it is. And then that lets you know that it's open at its furthest extent. Ladies and gents, this is the 2023 Grand Design Imagine 22 
MLE XLS travel trailer. What a cool RV. Plenty of room outside to entertain the friends and family. Really nice features on the inside. It's very well insulated and quite personally, a really nice travel trailer. Ladies and gents, I appreciate your time, your patience, and the opportunity to do business together. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping.